guys, Alex B here today, and uh, it's about t it's about ten in the morning. I woke up a couple hours ago, but I just want to make this quick video. So y'all know that uh, I was for the past like year and a half rocking a. Uh, actually, I have it. I for the past like year or so, I've been rocking this old eighty four hundred GS, right? Yeah, well, it recently died. <clears throat> Not to mention that it's missing two fan blades. So, just for comparison, this was my old video card. I bought a new one. And once you guys see this, yeah, so you, if you hear the fan, that's not my CPU fan. That's the new beast that's in this thing. Recently bought it a couple days ago, 40 bucks. And, uh, yeah, this is the hard drive fan, so it's actually a pretty big video card. It is an AMD. Hence the heat. Well, I guess AMD, ATI, same thing. Oh, man, this stinks. I don't have enough lighting. That's pleasant. I just broke one of the snaps for my light. I have an ATI Fire GL V8650. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Somebody came into my room. Into my room. But I have my flash on my light now on my phone, so it should be much better. Okay, yeah, XPS 410, right? And then in here we got an ATI Fire GL V8650. I mean, look how big this thing is. It stops right there. It only gives me about five inches from the front of my case to the back. God, I gotta clean that out. Look at that crap. But this thing takes an eight pin and a six pin connector. And the power supply rating, actually here, here's a picture of the um, Fire GL from when I bought it on eBay. Yes, I buy things on eBay. Okay, so this thing has two, uh, two gigabytes GDDR4. Um, Two DVI output, two, uh, one, it's not S-Video, it looks like S-Video, um, but it requires an 8-pin and a 6-pin connector, and so what I had to do, this power supply from Dell already has a 6-pin, so that 6-pin's there, but for the 8-pin, no problem, I adapted my Molex, from 1 Molex to 2 Molex, and then the 2 Molex to a 6-pin works just fine. And this thing says it needs 600 watts of power, and... That's a 305 watt power supply. Keep in mind, I have one, two, three, four, four hard drives in, two DVD drives in, Core 2 Duo, eight gigabytes of RAM, and two monitors. I have a feeling any day this thing will go pop. I mean, that's how my, that is how my uh, 745 died. The power supply went out, and the motherboard didn't like it at all. I think it shorted something out, but then all I got was a flashing amber light. So, yeah. And before I got that, because my 8400 GS went out, this is the temporary piece of uh, that I had to use. It's a 9800 GT. It only has 512 megabytes of video RAM. And this thing's fan went out. So I had to use an external power brick fan that I plugged into my wall. And on top of that, I dremeled it down for a different computer. So every, like, two minutes, the display driver would crash, which means no games. But now with this video card, with this beast of a video card, I can do Premiere Pro, After Effects, characters, something or other, Vegas Pro, American Truck Simulator, everything. Even Emily wants to play, which I do plan to make a gameplay of soon. But, yeah. This thing is a fucking beast, and if you're wondering why I'm running Windows 7 and not Windows 8 or 10, it's because this thing only has drivers up to Windows 7. I know what you're thinking. Oh, get 7, install the drivers, and upgrade. I've tried that, doesn't work. Crashes the video card. <laughs> and flat out with Windows 10, it didn't want to work at all. All it did was give me two clone uh, displays, 1024, 768. Even though these are like 1360, 768 monitors, or 1080p if I had two HDMI cables. I mean, if you look back here, yeah, see the two video outputs, and uh, here's the thing, that that uh, that video card came with two DVI to VGA, and then it came with this odd adapter. 
I know what this is. It's a DVI. It's a component. And it's got these switches on it. I don't know if it'll adapt quick. Oh, it's upside down. Wait. Yeah, it's upside down. That's why. Anyway, it has these little ADB switches on it. The top one, 480i, 480p, 540p, 720p, 1080i, and then a 16-9 ratio. So if I wanted to take this thing, plug it into my video card, move my Dell over here, I can plug it, plug it into my TV, no problem. Which I've actually done with a uh, with the HP. Alright, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope to talk to you guys soon. Uh, actually, before I go, I do want to overclock this thing. But first, got to close out my game on American Truck Simulator. Notice how the fan just went on steroids. Okay, let's go into MSI Afterburner. I think I need to put some new thermal paste on that thing. So this is, right now we're sitting at about 154 degrees. I'm sorry for my flash. Let me turn that off. Alright, there we go. Uh, right now we're sitting at 688 MHz, 868 MHz. Uh, 688 for the core clock, 868 for the memory clock, and 152 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's bump the fan up all the way. And we'll give this thing nine nine ninety on the mega uh, on the memory clock and seven seventy eight on the core clock. Keep in mind, MSI uh, Afterburner allowed me to unlock its um unlock its uh, overclocking options because this is an AMD and stock. It would only let me do six hundred eighty eight eight sixty eight without any overclocking. But thank you AMD. All right, I mean thank you MSI. This thing's probably going to blow up, but let's just see what happens. Three, all right, 778, 990, 100. Ready, set, go. Well, we're sitting at about, yeah. How about we bump it up to 1 gigahertz, 1 point, uh, 1.05 gigahertz on the memory clock and about 895 on the core clock. I think I just broke Windows 7. Because I cannot move my mouse. I think the display driver crashed. Let's do a hard restart, shall we? Alright, gotta start up again. But this thing is pretty good at overclocking. I might give it a get uh, give it some overclocking after a while. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you. Uh, my two hard drives are in RAID zero for the OS. So 320, 320 gigabyte hard drives, two 320s give about 600 gigabytes. Don't ask me why Windows 7 classified as is that. GTA Conroe, Grand Theft Auto, and then the code name on the processor, RAID zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then WD and Samsung, that's for my torrents. As you can see down there, WD3200, Samsung, WD, uh, HD80, WC, WD3200, uh, and then a WD800. And then it's just rear fan failure, because obvious reasons I had to take out my hard drive fan. But I haven't noticed anything gone wrong with the hard drives. These hard drives are very durable, especially my two WD3320s. Uh, I've had those ever since I've had my HP, and that HP was built back in 2006, and these things have not hiccuped on me once. Says a lot, doesn't it? Alright, and rear fan failure, let's start up. Oh, and I don't know if you guys, if I told you guys about this, and yeah, you gotta start up Windows 7. My iBook had a problem recently. Uh, the hard drive died. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys about this. The hard drive died, and I ordered a new one on eBay, and the first one that came was the right one. But it was it was a bad hard drive. Uh, OS 10 installer classified as failing. Told the guy to send me another one. Keep in mind this thing uses a IDE bus and not a SATA. He sent me a SATA for the next one. Then the third time's the charm. He sent me a C a Seagate, and it had it was it was an Apple OEM. And when I put it into my uh, thing, it it even had a um, an install of 104 Tiger. But it had a password on it, so yeah, ten five eight. Always good to have. 
Yes, this is an OEM copy of Windows 7 for this thing. 7 professional 64-bit. Alright, uh... Yeah, if I remember how to do this correctly, applications... I just use this thing for school. I don't need anything that beefy. And yes, I do have After Effects on here and Bridge and Device Central. I go Utilities. Disk Utility. See, it's an ST980. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. Probably upload this on Monday or something like that. So, yep, till next time, Alex be out. Peace.